What's up everybody, this is BR here, and today we're going to take a look at the comment section of why are games so sweaty nowadays. This video unexpectedly blew up. And with so many comments under the video, I thought it'd be a good idea to look at the conversations down there. As that's really the point of this channel in the first place. But before I do that, I'd like to say thank you so much for so many subscribers. I never expected this video or this channel to blow up the way that it did in these past couple of weeks. With all brutal honesty, I didn't expect it to blow up so quickly. I guess there was just something about the video that the algorithm liked. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for these kind words that are up on the screen right now. It really does inspire me to make more content and for that I am extremely grateful. Now, I'm not going to be able to go over every single type of comment in this video, unfortunately. With so many comments, I think it would be really difficult for me to try to compress it all down into one single video. Instead, I'll focus on different sections of comments in three different videos. This first one being some generalized comments. In this case, I'm going to focus on the comments that were frequently posted, especially the ones that are pretty much the same. And I think the one type of comment that I want to focus on first has to be these. From the posters who keep on saying that the issue of sweatiness is not an issue, rather it's a skill issue. That every player should just get better. And personally, I completely disagree. First off, that's not the issue in question here. It doesn't really matter what skill level you are. The intensity of matches is just something that is not determined by your skill level. I am very certain that pros themselves don't want to continue playing at a, such a high level all the time that they themselves just want to unwind with some crazy or fun game modes. Either that or just enjoy the base game for what it is. I mean, after all, they wouldn't be pros of a game if they didn't like it. Most people like the game for what it is, otherwise they wouldn't be playing it. And I think that after you learn the bare minimum of the game, you have every right to play it casually. In fact, I had this similar sentiment in the comment section in one of the replies that I posted. In this comment, I said, I don't believe that players should be forced to improve in a game after learning the bare minimum. If someone wants to play casual, casually, then they have every right to do so. Not everyone goes to play basketball or soccer as if it was a championship. They play it to have fun. Same goes with video games. What's actually hurting the experience is the superiority complex. And you really do see the superiority complex in the comment section of the video. Which really blinds them to the fact that we aren't complaining about not winning. At least most of us aren't. What players are really complaining about is that the enjoyment is being nullified by how intense the games are. For something that's not considered competitive, many players are taking it way too intensely, ripping out the enjoyment of the game. This similar type of argument also discredit those who do play competitive and ranked matches as tryharding as possible, because that's the whole point, right? But they also want to have the room to just play casually, where they can unwind after a hard day's work or after grinding out ranked for so long. And the reason why they want to do it with the same game that they play competitively, but now they just want to play casually, is because the game is fun. If it wasn't fun, they wouldn't bother. This is why whenever I played shooter games when I was a kid, for example, something like Split Screen GoldenEye 007, while I was insanely more skilled compared to my friends and my cousins, I never used such skills because it wasn't necessary. We weren't there to have a competition, we were just there to have fun because the game itself was fun. And that makes it no different than online casual games. Matchmaking was just a way to get people together on the internet. It wasn't meant to be a some sort of ranked queue. While I personally never played the earlier Halos, I do know that there is a huge discrepancy between the old titles and the new remasters. In the older titles, the matchmaking would just drop you in a server with the lowest ping. It was almost instantaneous. Nowadays, because of skill-based matchmaking and other factors, matchmaking now takes at the very least a minute in order to find you a match. Now, I'm not saying that skill-based matchmaking is bad, I'm just showing you that it has not always been this way. And many people understood that. If people really wanted to play something competitive, then they would go out and find competitive communities, such as with forums or online leagues. But because of how marketable competitive is to the general public, Developers decided to have these matchmaking systems implemented into their games. And like many are saying, that is actually one of the reasons why games got really sweaty and that has to do with the marketing. And I wholly agree. And that leads to the other bunch of comments that were also very apparent. And that strain into more competitive aura was especially strained by content creators and streamers. 
While I don't think that content creation itself is at fault, I do think that it really did influence on what you got out of the game. Before, what you got out of the game was fun, there wasn't any XP grinding, there was no cosmetic drops, it was just an online server where you would connect with everybody else in order to play, because guess what? It's infinitely easier to matchmake online than it is to gather a bunch of people to play some games split-screen locally. But now with the alternative gains from video games being a pursuit of monetization, that has immensely influenced the mentality of many players playing online games, especially first-person shooters. With its competitive aura, now you have a huge incentive to try your hardest to try to get big kills, because guess what? That's good content. And I don't blame content creators and streamers. I mean, they're just trying to make a living. I get it. They're trying to show off their skills. But, but because competitive matches aren't as interesting as pub roles, you're just going to have the situation where skill-based matchmaking really is kind of a necessity. People really like a good show. And unfortunately, pub stomping noobs on casual makes for good content, apparently. But anyways, those are the two big arguments that were really common in the comment section of that video. I hope you found those interesting, and I hope you found my rebuttal interesting as well. But to leave the video in a much higher note, I'd like to show you a couple of funny comments that I did find in that comment section. I really liked that comment by Power Lamau where he was talking about the original intro. And I do have to admit that I kind of did rip off the inflection from the act man. Though I didn't do it intentionally. As far as the format of the video, it was more of an inspiration from these commentary channels, but I wanted to do it as something more focused, like with gaming. And I think that Garbage really is the one who influenced me to make this more shorter content compared to the big long video essays. But still, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to make big video essays, it's just, you know, I really do like making this kind of content as well. I also especially like this comment by Paxton who says, The problem is everyone is way too good, except for your teammates. Dude, you do not know how frustrating ranked arenas is when you're soloing. Oh my goodness. For whatever reason, they put platinum players with silver teammates. But of course, my teammates are just bronze, or even worse, and the enemy just happens to be diamond. And finally, we have this one comment that says, Esports and its consequences have been a disaster to the human race. A little bit of hyperbole, but, uh, you know, I, I kind of agree. And finally, we also have that one where it says, up your two times sense, dummy. Uh, yeah, that's just my bad aiming. Which is also highlighted by Creator, where he's talking about this clip over here. And of course, we have this final comment that just doesn't really add anything to the conversation. Maybe get a spell check next time. But anyways, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. If you'd like to see more content in the future, consider subscribing. Especially if you like these comment rebuttals, because next episode, we're going to look at some of the more interesting takes. And let me tell you, some people really do have an out-of-the-box perspective of this. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for this attention and the growth of this channel. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much, and I'll catch you guys later.